In this video, I will demonstrate how you can hack into your target Windows computer via one of my favorite phishing techniques with Windows shortcut LNK files. What we will need are as follow. Pretext, like a scenario to convince your target to click on a dropper. This will be provided by ChatGPT. We will need a dropper. This should be a convenient file type for your victim to click on and execute something. The actual payload. This will be fetched by your dropper. We will be using Metasploit Metapreter for simplicity. Windows Defender Bypass method. We will be sticking with the Waffles Exploit Steganography one that I have showcased before. It still works today. We will also need somewhere to host the phishing files. This could be Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, GitHub repository or whatever you can think of. With this plan in mind, let's get started. First, let's get ChatGPT to generate some convincing pretext. For example, you can prompt something like this, saying that you are a HR manager and you have to send out an email to a few employees who are unfortunately impacted by the organization's choice to reduce their compensation package, also known as salary. The email should be empathetic and should prompt the recipient to download the salary.zip file and click on the updated salary2025.txt file to review their newly reflected compensation package. This is just an example. You can do something else like assuming the role of an IT help desk personnel and generate an email to convince your users to download and execute some payload to prevent disruption on their BAU activities. Okay, pretext is settled over here. Now let's move on to the dropper. We will be showcasing how we can create a convincing shortcut LNK file on Windows using Python. Before we proceed to use the Python script on our Kali machine, let's take a look at how you can do this manually on a Windows machine. It is pretty straightforward to create a shortcut file. You can even modify the icon of the shortcut over here like this. Shortcut files are awesome because it doesn't show the actual file extension like .lnk despite the view settings being configured to display the files type extensions and the ability to execute commands simply by double clicking makes shortcut files a solid choice for the initial dropper stage. Python has a package called PYLink which provides APIs to create and edit shortcut files for Windows machine. This project unfortunately only supports Python 2, but if we check out the pull request over here, we can see that someone ported it to Python 3. Let's use this. Before we continue, let's settle the payload and Windows Defender bypass portion first. As mentioned earlier, the Waffles exploit steganography setup and demonstration has already been shown in the previous video. Please check it out first before continuing as I will be jumping right in this video. You can find the link to the video in the video's description. Let's generate the Metapreter reverse shell payload. As usual, we will append the raw shellcode bytes onto the end of the image file like this. The extract and launcher code we will be using will be slightly modified as shown in the div output here. Basically, this is to hide the console window and ensure that the process will still be running in the background even when our target closes the initial window. We will be able to see it clearer later on during the demonstration. Additional code is also added so that the environment variables like TMP here will be correctly expanded to actual values. Once this is done, we should have the launcher.exe file and a legitimate image file containing our payload. We will need both of the files to be downloaded by our victim and that will be done by our shortcut.lnk file. Let's generate our shortcut.lnk file now. The shortcut file will need to spawn an empty notepad. Then proceed to download our launcher.exe file and the image file. 
both of these files will be downloaded into the temp directory of the victim. We are using environment variables to prevent hard coding of the path so that it will work across different machines. Finally, we will execute the launcher file. We should also set the icon of the shortcut file to match a text file with the dash i parameter to make it more convincing. Nice. Now we will need to fire up a Python web server to host the launcher file and the image. Let's create a password protected zip file containing just the shortcut.lnk file. This will be the file that we will be sending to our victim via email. Let's also spin up a Metasploit Metabrita listener separately to receive the incoming reverse shell. As mentioned earlier, we will be using Proton Drive to host the file. You can use whatever. Let's upload it to Proton Drive. Now let's send the phishing email to ourselves as demonstration. Let's copy the previously generated phishing pretext done up by ChatGPT. Nice, let's send out the email. Awesome, we have received it. In reality, this email should be further enhanced to convince your victim such as adding HTML elements like a beautiful header, footer and images. Let's open up the link in our victim windows machine and see how it looks like. Okay, following the email instructions, the victim will now unzip the zip file and indeed, he sees a very convincing text file that should contain his new salary amount. This is actually a shortcut LNK file that will proceed to download the image file, launcher and executing the launcher. If the victim were to click on it like this, an empty notepad will spawn as per what we have configured during the creation of the shortcut file. Nothing happens on his screen. He can even close off all of the pop-up windows. Now, if we were to look at our Kali machine, we can see that we have an established Metabrita reverse shell from the victim computer. Awesome. Now let's hop back over to our victim windows machine. As shown in the screen, this is a complete windows defender bypass. The process is running in the background as shown in task manager over here. Pretty cool. So this is it. In reality, the payload should be a DLL file instead so that we can execute with a trusted binary like run DLL or MSI exec. Alright, this is it to the demonstration. All credits belong to the authors of the respective tools and scripts and all references shown will be provided in the video's description. If you are interested in learning about hacking a Windows Active Directory domain network environment, here is a playlist available on my YouTube channel where it contains 4 episodes showcasing the attack techniques, tactics and procedures commonly used by an attacker in a Windows domain network Active Directory. It has hands-on technical demonstration of attacks such as crack map exec, bloodhound, how to perform network pivoting and many others. On my Udemy page, I have a free introductory course that explains the core concept of phishing as well. This course is 100% completely free and it showcases the common approaches and tools to phishing and what attackers aim to achieve in phishing attacks, such as harvesting credentials or convincing a victim to click on a malicious payload. The link to the resources will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thank you. 
you and I really appreciate it a lot. I hope you have found this video to be useful. If you have enjoyed the free content, please help to like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks, I really appreciate it and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.